Precipitation hardening brought to you by Oregon Tech. Precipitation hardening, often referred to as age hardening, is a form of heat treatment used to increase the hardness and the yield strength of certain types of metal alloys. Precipitation hardening occurs by forming small precipitates within the initial phase. As you can see in this drawing of a grain structure, the red dots that have formed are a representation of how the precipitates will form evenly throughout the grains in a secondary phase. The precipitates are submicroscopic, so even under a regular light microscope, the precipitates wouldn't be visible. There are three steps to precipitation hardening. The first, solution heat treating, second, quenching, and third, precipitation heat treating. The first, solution heat treating, all solute atoms are dissolved to form a single phase solid solution. It is heated up to a predetermined temperature depending upon the metal alloy. It is brought up to that temp until all the solute atoms are dissolved into a single phase. Since there is only one solid phase, Greek letter alpha is used in a phase diagram. The next step is quenching, where the alloy is rapidly cooled to room temperature. The third and final step is precipitation heat treatment. The precipitates start to form as finely dispersed particles throughout the grains in a secondary phase, which are represented as the red dots within this grain structure. Sometimes this step is referred to as aging. The temperature for step three is less than step one, so that the correct precipitates form inside the initial grains without overtaking it. After solution heat treatment, during the precipitation hardening process, it is the tensile strength and hardness are aged to a certain point, and after that point, if the process isn't stopped, they will go and they will become overaged. So as you can see in this graph, the temperature is brought up to and maintained in solution heat treating a certain temperature until it all becomes one solution. Then it is rapidly cooled to room temperature. Then it is brought up to a secondary temperature, which is less than the first, until it reaches desired aging, then cooled to room temperature. Examples of materials that use precipitation hardening include the internal wing structure on a Boeing 767, which is made out of aluminum. Aluminum is strengthened and stainless steel. Thank you for watching. My name is Natalie and I am a mechanical engineering student at Oregon Tech.